Investigators spent about five hours searching for clues and digging here off of Sober Road. I just talked to Paige Ronkowski's mom, who tells me she is disappointed. Her daughter hasn't been found, but she isn't giving up. It's been a roller coaster ride for 21 years, and it, it continues. Paige Ronkowski's mother remains determined to get answers in her daughter's decades-old disappearance. Paige vanished in 1990 on her way home from Metro Airport, but her car was found still running and parked on the shoulder of I-96 near Fowlerville. Today, MSU forensic anthropologists spent much of the day digging here in Conway Township after cadaver dogs hit on four spots last week, indicating the possibility of human remains. But in the end, investigators said they found no sign of Paige. However, Livingston County Sheriff Robert Bazat says they have received new tips recently, including one that came in last weekend, one he calls encouraging. It was the daughter of this guy that actually called us and said, you know, my stepfather could be a suspect. So now it gives us some new leads, some new information to go on. The sheriff says investigators haven't spoken to that man yet. He lives out of state now, but at the time of Page's disappearance, he lived about a mile from where today's search took place. Original investigators searched this area years ago after an anonymous tipster gave them a map claiming Page's body was in this area. But the sheriff says those searches did not involve cadaver dogs. Meantime, even though today didn't end the way she had hoped, Page's mother says she still has faith in the cold case investigators who haven't given up. If anybody ever resolves Page's case, it will be these three detectives. This will not discourage them. In Conway Township, Anu Prakash, 7 Action News. Paige Renkoski was 30 years old when she disappeared in 1990. She had been driving home to Okemos. Her car was found on I-96 near the Fowlerville exit. Her shoes and purse were inside.